So hello everyone today we'll be looking at 2023 CRC interview questions and answers so i'll be looking at all the questions for fundamentals of clinical research roles and responsibility we'll be also answering the question based on phase trials gcp ndct 2019 along with questions for informed consent safety sa reporting so in this video i'll answer all the possible crc interview questions so that you can get the answers and crack this interview and get the job so without further ado let's start this video So before we start this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel if not already done and also please like this video if you found this helpful because it provides me motivation to create such quality content so let's begin so when it comes to crc interview you must firstly focus on the qualification aspects so you should have a graduation or a post graduation in pharma medicine biotech or uh, any bsc or msc in biotech or microbiology okay that is a mandatory next thing is what education do you specific required for crc so you require a certification in clinical research okay so which provides you a strong fundamental knowledge of clinical research and related concepts when it comes to skills then you require clinical research specific skills such as understanding of the concept the nida gcp certification so if anyone is interested in the certification it is free i'll provide link in the description you can go and check it out and you must also have a theoretical understanding of what crc job role is so without uh, further ado let's uh, begin with the crc interview questions so the first question that will be asked you is regarding the fundamentals they will ask you questions such as what were the critical historical events such as the nuremberg code the belmont report or the declaration of helsinki okay so these are bigger milestone which led to a lot of chaos in the field of clinical research and it is also a great milestone for learning also what we should do in clinical research what we should not do they will also ask you regarding the definitions of clinical research okay so you should have that fundamental understanding of clinical research if you don't know about nuremberg code belmont report declaration of helsinki i have prepared already videos on it i'll give link in the description box you can go and check it out the second question they will ask you is regarding the functionality okay so they will ask you uh, regarding documentation so have you read ich gcp so what is ich what is gcp okay they will also uh, require a documentation part so a lot of uh, work of the crc is documentation and the best guide to that documentation is ich gcp e6 the e6 r2 provides documentation required before during and after the trial so there are a list of around 30 documents that ideally a crc should know but if even if you could tell five of them then it will be amazing and your chances of getting into the crc job would increase okay again i'll uh, give link in the description you can go and check that out the next question they might ask is informed consent this is a very critical question okay before you begin any type of activity in clinical research it is it is very important that you take permission of that person you take consent of this person if it is a person who is above 18 then we take consent if below 18 then we take assent okay and also in this icf there is a component of regulatory requirement along with if the parent is illiterate okay or if the subject is not in the state of giving consent then the concept of lar also comes okay and if both the subject and the lar is illiterate then the concept of impartial witness come so you should know the difference between parents the lar the impartial witness and how to take consent and assent okay theoretical understanding of this will help you crack the interview next question arises is what are the types of trials okay and phases of clinical trial so uh, so there are four phases of trial okay pre clinical phase 1 2 3 4 what happens in each of the phase i have already made a video you can go and uh, check it out okay so you should understand the difference between one phase to another okay that is the main thinking behind asking such questions also you should know what are the blinded and unblinded trial what does blinding mean okay so these kind of question they will ask you in the interview they will also ask you what is open label study okay why do we do that so you should have that much clarity okay so this is uh, regarding the types and phases of clinical trial 
नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कम्स इज रिगार्डिंग जीसीपी ओके नाउ जीसीपी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जीसीपी स्टैंड फॉर गुड क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस सो यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज आईसीएच जीसीपी ओके वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ आईसीएच वॉट इज द करंट वर्जन ऑफ द जीसीपी दैट वी आर यूजिंग दे ऑल्सो आस्क यू अलॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन अबाउट ई सिक्स आर टू सो देर इज ई सिक्स आर टू डॉक्यूमेंट अवेलेबल फ्रीली ऑन द इंटरनेट ओके दे विल अगेन आस्क यू टेल मी एनी फाइव क्वेश्चन एनी फाइव प्रिंसिपल Uh, out of 13 principles of ICA GCP, okay. So I would suggest that uh, you go and watch the video which I made, in which I have clearly explained what is ICA GCP, what are 13 principle, and those should be by heart to each and every clinical research professionals, okay. And also uh, for this GCP, you can do a free certification on the NIDA website. okay you can uh, visit the description box and complete that certification because if you have a gcp certification your chances of clearing that interview uh, increases tremendously okay the next question they can ask you is regarding roles and responsibility so what is that a crc does at site what are his roles what are his responsibility does the crc take informed consent obviously no then what is his role regarding documentation regarding ip dispensation regarding patient follow up safety okay also the documentation should follow good documentation practices which is gdp how it is that done they will also ask you uh, regarding if you are doing documentation which is required before during and after the trial so you should read the e6r2 okay that is regarding roles and responsibility the next question they will ask you regarding the regulatory aspect so ndcd rule 2019 so again go and check out that video learn what are the important uh, aspects of 2019 what are the difference between uh, various institutions so they will also ask you the newly appointed dcgi okay so if you know that newly appointed dcgi just uh, comment in the description box who is the current dcgi also they will ask you that what is an ethics committee what are the differences between ethics committee members and the regulatory members okay which is the indian regulatory authority such questions will come from the regulatory aspects okay they can also ask you about the significance of ethics committee why is ethics committee required now there is also a different types of ethics committee or the approval required for the trial which are regarding uh, biomedicals so what is the role of icmr in that they can also ask you that question so just go and read about it the last and uh, not the least again they will ask you the definitions of adverse event serious adverse adverse event what are the difference between both of them what is the reporting timeline of an sa and a okay they will also also ask you about the sugam portal where you report the sa okay so a crc should know at least what is a sugam portal okay then what activities should we do in uh, any ae and sa okay so if you look at all this eight question these are fundamentally important questions and if you can answer the question based on this eight aspect then you can certainly crack the crc interview so i would suggest that i've uh, made a lot of videos on all these topics separately you can check my channel out and i would highly recommend that you please go and watch those videos make your points before you go to an any interview do not go uh, directly because uh, it will reduce your chances of getting selected and if you are uh, well versed with all this concept then definitely you can crack the crc interview and if you are looking for making a good career in clinical research then make sure that uh, you enroll yourself in this batch so it's a certification in clinical research for the 6 weeks it will be online and the fees of it is highly amazing it is just 10000 inr and the batch size is 10 students only so you can get individualized personal attention also and these fees are till 15th may only so make sure that you register yourself quickly So if you want to uh, get your admission this is the QR code please scan it and just it will take you to the admission link where you can uh, admit yourself and do this amazing course and enter into the field of clinical research So I hope I was able to help you and thank you for watching this video till the end make sure you share this video to all the pharmacy and the life science students who are looking to make a career in clinical research and medical coding also and also subscribe to the channel it will help us and motivate us in the future also
and thank you everybody